the main. So this is a boat that I've wanted to cover for a long time, and for one really big reason. It is a console exclusive, so no PC player has ever got to play this ship, which is pretty backwards in this game. I know we're very used to seeing things on PC, sometimes years before they come to World of Warships Legends. But Maine is at the top of the tech tree for the American Battleship line. It's kind of like a Montana, just with slightly less guns. It's really what you would expect out of an American battleship, especially if you played up the original line. Accurate, hard-hitting guns, good AA, decent armor, and an okay top speed. Before we go any further though, let's look at my build for this particular game. I buffed turret traverse, propulsion, concealment, and accuracy with the American artillery plotting room. My commander was Billy Sims for this game, I remember, and a full accuracy build. Now, I don't play a ton of battleships or American battleships, so I'm not really sure what the meta is nowadays, but probably Azerlane, New Jersey with Cunningham, Iachino, D. Ravel, or something similar. I do like Kondo as an inspiration of my battleships to buff the concealment a little more, but I don't guess it's 100% necessary. Other battleship main guys might have some different build ideas, so if you guys are battleship mains and you're good at the game, uh, yeah, let us know what the meta is in 2023. Be sure to post it down below in the comments section. Now the match in the background. It's on trap and it is a pretty fast game, so don't blink. Recently, about an update or two ago, the main received a buff. It was a pretty big buff, mostly to the survivability of the ship. A lot of the health pool was moved out of certain sections of the ship, basically making her tougher to sink overall. The bow HP was reduced from 12,500 to 3,800, so these areas would become saturated faster, allowing you to keep your health pool longer, basically. It was buffed because, well, I think most of the player base would, was finding the ship a little underwhelming, and sometimes I would agree, but it's still a decently reliable ship, and you can really smack some ships if they make mistakes. Exhibit A. This Azuma overextended a little bit, so I think we're gonna be able to punish him pretty good here if I remember. Now, as for American battleships, Maine has a pretty decent HP pool. Again, it got buffed a little bit. It's gonna help keep you in the fight. The damage control parties on American battleships, they are good. Basically, when they're activated, you're going to have 20 seconds that you cannot be set on fire, flooded, or etc. So American BB DCPs, pretty good. The heals are also pretty strong. The armor's what you'd expect from an American BB. Strong belt, normal 32mm bout that can tank everything except Yamato and Masashi, but a little weaker deck armor. I find it a pretty survivable battleship now, and unless you're just doing something mega dumb, you can be tough to take out. The guns. They're in a weird configuration. Prior to this ship, I don't ever really remember seeing this. It's a 3-2 configuration. You get five guns up front, five in the back. It's only one more than Iowa, just a tier below that. And if you're a strictly fighting bow in kind of battleship player, it's actually a downgrade from Iowa with one less gun. So I suppose I would play it a little bit more like I do in this game. Moving around the map, turning to fire guns, and then angling well when someone goes to look at you. It's not as straightforward as just sitting there in the Iowa, but it is a lot more effective, and once you get the hang of it, this is really how a battleship should be played. The accuracy. 1.85 Sigma in American Dispersion. That's really among the best for tier 8 BBs, so pretty good. The gun firing angles are also pretty decent, and of course, American AP is among the best in the game. It's called SHAP in our game, Super Heavy Armor Piercing, and it just means that it has improved penetration angles, so it's not going to ricochet quite as much. Secondaries? Nah, but the AA on main is really, really great, which is good because tier seven carriers are starting to become more and more prevalent. The long and mid range AA on main is very potent. In fact, by DPS in the tier eight battleship realm, main is the best. So if you like punishing carriers, this is a solid choice of a battleship. Speed is average, 30 knots, turning circle and rudder are atrocious, so prepare for that, and the concealment is bad as well. There are definitely good and bad parts about this battleship for sure, but overall I still think she's a solid ship. The game in the background is shaping up quite nicely 
really we owe a large amount of the damage we got in the first four and a half minutes to that Azuma's mistake earlier. But really, Main can capitalize on mistakes like that. This ship feels consistent. As far as battleship salvos go, Main feels consistent, and that's probably her biggest selling point. So if you're looking for consistency, if you get frustrated by those salvos that are just kind of ridiculous and look like crazy eyes from Mr. Deeds shot them, then maybe this is the ship for you. You're going to have some good consistent damage output across, you know, lots of ranges, long, medium ranges, even shorter ranges. And uh, I think that's probably one of the biggest allures to this ship. Now, as for playing her, trying to set up in situations looking for broadsides, of course, that's the best thing to do. A couple ways to do that. One is to play central. Most people don't really think about this as a battleship. But if your teammates are pushing flanks and you're playing centrally, you can get cross shots from the middle of the map. Or two, you can be the one that does the flanking. But one word on that, a lot of players like to use gyrating drill bits on their American battleships. I personally don't like that because I like speed. Gyrating drill bits is going to cut your speed by 10%, so you're probably going to drop down to around 27 knots or so in the main, I think. If you like to flank, leave that skill off of your commander. You're going to get out on the flank and you're kind of going to be stuck out there like a Colorado or an American standard, just that slow speed at top tier can really hurt you and you'll be stuck out on a flank. But anyways, it's as simple as that. Hunt for broadsides and position well. I know, it's not really sage advice, is it? But American battleships really are that simple. And again, if you're approaching tier eight and you're curious about tier eight, you should probably know how to play an American battleship at this point. Really, cruisers, of course, are the best target to shoot at. And in high tier matches, how many cruisers are in this game right now? Two a Weimar and an Azuma on the enemy team. So yes, you want to shoot cruisers, but of course you're mostly going to be shooting battleships and dodging torpedoes from destroyers. That is just high tier play and World of Warships legends. Yeah. Anyways, on a power scale, I think the main is good to mediocre. Keep in mind, this game in the background is the best game I believe I've ever had in the main. And I can throw my stats up on the board real quick. Don't pay attention to the win rate. I play battleships in divisions because I'm a sissy. <laughs> so don't look at the win rate, but you can look at the damage and stats like that and see that Maine does have some serious potential to be a good battleship. And again, I play these in a division mostly. I don't enjoy solo battleship play. It is heavily reliant on random teammates and I don't like it. I think sniping battleships can be a little bit dull in my eyes. <clears throat> Just my personal preference. I would much rather find myself in the Prince Ruprecht or the Lepanto waiting on an opportunity to brawl with fun secondaries. Again, that's my personal preference. Now, I don't have the Savetsky Suyez or the Azumo, so I would be curious which one of those is actually the better sniper. If you guys have it, let me know. Wow, that was a whiff and a half. That Weimar kill should have been mine, but skill issue. Anyways, one day I might have all the tier 8 ships, but for now it's just unaffordable. Too much silver. Anyways... This game is over is about 3k base again the best I've ever done in main <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like if you found this video helpful I would love to hear from you and be sure to sub so you don't miss any future videos and with that I'll catch you in the next video see ya